Hello, Russ of Aquarimax here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Bugs in Cyberspace. All right, uh, in just next week I'm going to be giving a presentation with some bugs, and I figured I would switch things up a bit and get a few more bugs for that, not just for that. Of course, I just I wanted these anyway, but uh, that is kind of how I decided on the timing. And Bugs in Cyberspace has always treated me well, so. I don't expect it to be any different this time. Pretty excited about this. I'm gonna be delving into, well, one species I've already kept, and then two species I never have kept. So, here we go. There's Peter's card, Bugs in Cyberspace. And here we go. always very thoroughly packed and let me know if I get out of the shot or anything okay I'm, I'm very happy for you to let me know that if if I happen to do that still solidly in the shot good to know thank you I appreciate that um, no that's that's good we'll bring the bugs up a little closer once we do it but thank you for asking Okay, there's one of something. Maybe this is just the cool pack. I think that's just the cool pack. Um, yep. Oh, I think I know what that is. <laughs> I'm so gleeful when I do these things. Okay. Now, this is a hint about what I'm going to open next. It's a pink flashlight. Why would I get a pink flashlight? Well, this one needs battery still, but this is a UV flashlight. It's UV LED. So that's a hint to some of you about what's in one of these other packages. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is a blue death feigning beetle. Check it out. These are one of the best pet bugs according to bugs in cyberspace and there's several reasons why one is that these are extremely long-lived the longest lifespan I've ever heard for one of these 17 years can you believe that 17 years let's see if I can get this closer to the camera um, I'm messing up the light yeah I'm trying to fix that there um, the lights not so great for this but let me see if I can remedy that just really quick Okay, there we go. Now see if you can focus on that for just a second there. There we go. And you can see the very rough um, the very rough texture to the back there. It's pretty cool, I think. These guys are very heavily armored and very, very resistant to heat and drying out. They are native to the deserts of the southwest U.S. as well as Mexico. And like I said, they can live for up to 17 years. They're scavengers. They can eat almost anything, vegetable, material, dead insects, whatever that they find in the desert. They fare very, very well in captivity. They can be kept in groups. They can even live with certain other species, various other desert beetle species, as well as um, things like velvet ants. So I'm really excited to try this out. They're even used as cleanup crews in with large uh, scorpions, such as desert hairy scorpions. Scorpions don't bother to eat them. I guess they're too heavily armored for that. So this will be really fun. And I'm going to put it in with my collection of desert beetles that I've collected locally for now in a small temporary enclosure. So let's do that. All right, now here are some desert beetles. You can see two of the three that I already have. And I'm going to put this one in here. This enclosure is a temporary one. I have uh, plans for them to put them in a larger enclosure very soon, but they'll be fine in here for the short term. They've been doing really well. They like bug burger apparently as well as various other things. I've given them fish food and things like that. So it'll be fun to set up an enclosure for my desert beetles. All right, let's hit the next box here, or the next deli cup here and see what we've got. Oh, excellent. This is the mantis. The go oh, it's so tiny. Look at that. Let's, let's get a close up on this. Look at the size of that tiny little mantis. This is much smaller than the uh, one that I got last time. 
I may even want to uh, keep it in a smaller deli cup than I was planning on. But uh, for now, I'm going to put it in this 32 ounce deli cup here that we've prepared. So let's get that going. And let's see if we can get it to crawl onto the stick here. What? Actually, this is what I'm going to do. It's a little bit hard to focus on that, isn't it? It's so tiny. I'm going to get it to crawl onto this uh, ice cream stick here and then put it right into the deli cup. And there it is. Oh. Okay, very good. Uh, looks good. Let's go ahead and get that lid on and make sure that he stays on the stick while you're doing that because he's so tiny. All right, well, I'm going to clear out some of this packing material for a minute so that we're all we have plenty of room for this one. This is going to be a little bit more involved. So clear some of this out. Okay, so this next one, am I in the shot? Can you see it? All right. This one, as it says, stings. <laughs> it is a um, Paravihovis confusus, which is a species of scorpion also known as the Quahuila devil scorpion. So um, I've never really kept a scorpion before, but I've done some research on this species, and I'm going to give it a try. Um, go ahead and bring that over too, if you would. Just for safety, we're going to do everything in here. All right, so the first step is just getting all the tape off of the deli cup very carefully so I don't upset the little scorpion in here and don't accidentally remove the lid prematurely. That would be unpleasant. Okay, now I'm going to loosen the lid, Ooh, just like that, and then place it down in here. And then just as a precaution, even though this kind of scorpion has a very mild venom as scorpions go, I'd rather not be too close to it. If I can manage to do this, it's, I had it loose and now I, I've accidentally tightened it again. I'm going to have to loosen it a little bit more. There we go but it's still closed. There we go. Now I should be able to get it off just fine. There we go. And take out this packing material. There we go. Very nice. And I'm not going to reach in there. I'm just going to do, do that. And Scorpion looks pretty good. I have uh, put this scorpion, I didn't know what size I would get because this scorpion gets a little bigger than this, not a lot bigger. It's probably close to adult size. I wasn't exactly sure how big it would come, so I used this smaller enclosure. I'll probably be upgrading to a large enclosure later, but this enclosure will be fine in the short term. Thanks for watching my unboxing today. I release videos every Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets of different types. Please feel free to leave a comment and a like, or to share it with someone who might enjoy it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos.